During the White House daily briefing yesterday, which was on camera, Deputy Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders mm. criticized the media for its coverage of the Trump administration in what she called the Trump-Russia hoax. After mentioning a CNN article that was recently retracted, she got into a tense back and forth with one White House reporter. If we make the slightest mistake, the slightest word is off, it is uh, just an absolute tirade from a lot of people in this room. But news outlets get to go on day after day and cite unnamed sources, use uh, stories without sources, have, uh, you know, you mentioned the Scaramucci story so they where they had to have reporters resign. Hey, come on, you're inflaming everybody right here and right now with those words. You, you, this administration has done that as well. Why in the name of heavens, any one of us, right, are replaceable, and any one of us, if we don't get it right, the audience has the opportunity to turn the channel or not read us. I think I you think, have been elected to serve for four years at least. There's no option other than that. We're I here think, to ask you questions. Right. We're here to provide the answers. And what you just did is inflammatory to people all over the country who look at it and say, see, once again, the president is right and everybody else out here is fake media. And everybody in this room is only trying to do their job. Well, I, I just I, I disagree completely. First of all, I think if anything has been inflamed, uh, it's the dishonesty that often takes place by the news media. And I think it is outrageous for you to uh, accuse me of inflaming a story when I was simply trying to respond to his question. Yeah, no, that reporter seen in that exchange is Brian Karam. He's the executive direct, uh, editor for the Sentinel newspapers in suburban Washington, D.C., and he will be our guest next hour. Uh, let's just go around. Heidi Prisbella, uh, what, do you, what do you make of what happened there in the press room? Well, I just think we need a fact check here because Sarah Huckabee Sanders said that we all in the media get to go on and on essentially promoting untruths. That is so wrong. And what happened at totally. CNN the other day is a testament to that, which is that when we get it wrong, we at least have to run a correction. And sometimes there's huge ramifications, which is that those three reporters were forced um, to resign. So if this White House, and it's been given the opportunity several times, wants to highlight reporting that is untrue and that merits a correction they are free to do that every day they have that podium they don't do it what they do do is they take an entire democratic institution which is all of us the fourth estate and say that we are fake news and that is why I think so many reporters have kind of had it up to here uh, which is that we are we are not fake news and if you have a specific issue with a specific story or a specific reporter please by all means take that up and get your correction but do not vilify a vital democratic institution. Well, uh, yeah, and, and, and the greatest, I mean, the greatest irony, Mark Halperin, is that this lecture is coming from, from the greatest and liar that's ever sat in the White House. The New York Times uh, uh, highlighted a thousand lies. I mean, to compare Nixon to this guy is absolutely ridiculous. He lies every day. A lot of times he lies every minute. He forgets the lie that he told five minutes ago. And then he I props mean, up people like Sarah Huckabee and, and, Sanders and, to back up his lies, and right. she does it with a straight well, face. And you know, it's incredibly what, what, disturbing. What's also what's also so funny is the fact that Sarah Huckabee Sanders is talking about, and Donald Trump will talk about unnamed sources and stories. This White House, like, will call every second that you will take their calls, and they will give you. A story, Mark, but it has to be unnamed source. They have to be off the record. And a lot of times they will call you just to trash other people that are working inside the White House. Or they'll say, so hey, if you can get this out there, but you can't attach my name to it. I mean, what, what raging hypocrites they all are. To, to complain about unnamed sources when they throw more unnamed sourced stories out than any White House I've ever dealt with. Ever. There have been a lot of low points from that podium in this administration with lack of respect for the First Amendment or lack of um, seriousness about explaining themselves. I thought that was one of the lowest points of the entire administration. It's despicable. What, what, what Sarah said in, in, in her tone, in her substance, in her emphasis, uh, it's, it's not about the press versus the White House. It's about the public interest and it's about demanding accountability and honesty 
from the administration. I get why they like to attack the press. It rallies the people who helped the president get elected. And I get why they say things that the president likes to, to, to hear because he watches the briefing. But that was a low point. And I think anyone who works in this administration, in the White House and elsewhere, should look at the dynamics of what she said and think about if that's the way they want the government to run. And is, is that what they want to work for? Is that who they want to be at the end? That's what these people don't realize is that Donald Trump's not going to be in the White House forever. I mean, he, he just... And they're going to have to go on and get jobs after he's gone. And he will throw them all under the bus. He throws everybody under the bus at the end. He'll he'll throw them under the bus, too. Do they want to do that? You've got to say, Mike Barnacle, it's also, <clears throat> this is short-sighted. It's so short-sighted because you can look at every public opinion poll and Americans trust news outlets more than they trust Donald Trump. In every single poll that you see out there. And also, Donald Trump is only making the media stronger. I mean, we have record ratings for us uh, uh, at Morning Joe, record ratings for the uh, subscription increases, New York Times, the Washington Post, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Everybody is actually getting more viewers by holding them accountable. And when they do things like that, they only feed into, you know, they only make us stronger. It certainly is short-sighted. <clears throat> but it almost assuredly is a strategy. And the Trump administration has difficulty getting enough votes to pass a health care bill. The Trump administration has difficulty in formulating a policy in the Middle East, but they have a fairly successful strategy of running the press down. It's and, a, it's, yeah. and it's working to a it's certain a extent. It's a 36% strategy. Okay. It is a losing strategy. Here's the difference, though, Joe. The difference is that we in the media, when we make a mistake, we report it. Right. You know we make a mistake. When they make a mistake, yeah. they say nothing. Well, well are they, they lying about they it? The press. Look, yeah. um, maybe a little bit of helpful insight for Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Someone might want to tell her that she's working for a president who forced uh, his press secretary on day one to go out and lie about crowd size mm -hmm. and obsess forced over him. crowd size and forced him to do that. And he did that with his tail between his legs and ruined his credibility from day one. And then look at the, pr I mean, if you want to take a look into Trump's history, there's a million things you could find. Here's a Washington Post report. Fake covers of Time magazine. He was so needy, he had not been on Time yet, that he made his own. Okay? Oh my this God. This is your boss. This is your boss. He put this on display at at least five of his clubs. It was first flagged by a reporter. <laughs> Notice the use Trump is hitting on all fronts, <laughs> even TV. Several exclamation points on the headline, something Time magazine doesn't do. The make Believe cover is dated March 1st, 2009, and highlights Trump's reality show, The Apprentice. Time magazine has since asked Trump to remove the phony cover. Phony. A phony, fake, pathetic, made up cover of Time magazine. Uh, oh, you know, it, that's your boss. In an email to the Post, the White House couldn't comment on whether. The president knew it wasn't a real cover. You should do some covers of yourself. You could just make them up. No, I wouldn't do that. Like and, and by the way, Willie, I don't have to because, as you know, uh, GQ, I, I, yeah, they, how true. many times have they had me on their cover? Well, exhausting. look at it's you. About, it's it amazing. Is and and yeah. that's, that's, roll that's, tide. That, that is yeah. this month's GQ, and I've got to say, this sweater, it's just hot. I wouldn't go. Our hanging. man of the year. I yeah. wouldn't go <laughs> hanging that. Oh, mystified top the charge. How oh, great! He's already made America great again, Willie. But you know what? I wouldn't go putting that up like in my clubs no. or going no. on my TV show. That would be needy. No, that I was surprised to see GQ put. Roll Tide up on the rough. I right? know. Seems like yeah. an odd know. brand fit it, for that. It is, but but let's talk about though how short-sighted Donald Trump's now, strategy is. I think it's is. disturbing. And he, he wants the press to go out, and it's so short-sighted. He's got again. I got to keep. Gotta he's got screw. President Bannon's. No, seriously, how do you do that? I, I couldn't hear what you said. What did you say? He has a screw loose. There's okay. something wrong. So President There's Bannon. Something wrong. Go ahead. Yes, President Actually, Bannon, sorry. President Bannon's strategy is getting them 35, 36% in polls. Like, he still believes this is a positive strategy oh, my Lord. when Americans desperately want their White House to work. 
The other thing I would add is that I think there's something larger to be concerned about. Have, has the press occasionally made a mistake in the pursuit of a legitimate story about Russia meddling in our election? Yes, and Absolutely. CNN admitted in that case that it did so. But what he does and what the White House does is discredit anyone or anything that crosses their narrative or undermines what they're trying to say, whether it's the press or the CBO or the former director of the FBI or the intel agency or the courts. And that is a very dangerous thing that's happening right now in real time, that our institutions institutions are being discredited yeah. and well undermined said. and that's a problem law it's a long-term problem it may get them through the day but you have people now who yeah. don't believe essential truths about this country he is, he is injected an anti-journalism virus into the culture and it's not just well, journalism it's all those institutions anti -institution I to you. Yeah. all right coming up the president of planned parenthood cecile richards is here on set plus senator chris murphy says democrats are willing to work with the gop on health care but who makes the first move on that well can i can we Look at that GQ cover again, mm. uh, because I just I, so needy. It's really yeah. Uh, yeah. It's already that. made America. Dunny, yeah, superficial. You need to do that. I didn't realize the memory you of your father of lives even on the front pages of GQ. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.